Welcome to Teen Tip Tuesday, demonstrating everyday life skills. The more we know, the better we live. Brought to you by OSU Extension. Dunsey, Family and Consumer Science Educator in Belmont County for Ohio State University. Today's tip for teen video is on how to pump gas. Although your car has a low fuel indicator, it is generally considered best practice to refuel your vehicle when the gauge is around a fourth of a tank. Follow these steps when pumping your gas. Find a gas station and locate which side of the vehicle your gas tank is on. If you look on your vehicle's dashboard, near the gas gauge, there is a triangle-shaped arrow. The arrow will point to the side of the car where the gas tank is located. Pull your vehicle up so the gas pump is on the same side as the tank and close enough so the nozzle will reach your car. This arrow indicates the gas tank is located on the driver's side. You will also need to locate your vehicle's gas release latch or lever. You may find it under the dashboard or on the outside of your car. Now you are ready to remove the gas cap. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Pay for your gas. You can use a credit card or debit card to pay outside by simply following the commands on the screen. If you are paying with cash, you will need to go inside and pay the clerk and give them your pump station number. Typically, you can find this number on the front corner of your gas pump. Select the grade of gas. Most likely you can fill your car with regular gas, but make sure to follow the recommended octane level depending on your car's owner's manual. Once you've determined the fuel you wish to use, you'll push the button that is associated with it. Remove the gas nozzle from the pump and insert it into the gas tank. Make sure it is secure, then pull on the nozzle's trigger and lock it into place. As you pump, you'll notice that the machine is recording how much fuel has entered the tank, plus the relative cost. It will automatically shut off when the tank is full. You can also pump a set amount of gas, for example, $6.91. If you are paying by credit card, you will need to manually shut off the nozzle trigger when the amount reaches $6.91. If you are paying by cash, you will just let the clerk know and they will set the pump to automatically shut off when you reach $6.91 worth of gas. Once the nozzle turns off, pull the nozzle out with the tip pointing up so that there are no drips and return it back into the holder. Remember to put the gas cap back on and turn it to the right until it makes a clicking noise. If the gas cap is left off or loose, gas can escape from the system and trigger the check engine light to come on. 